be fine, Bagheera. Uh, Mowgli, come help me. We'll be back soon. Is it serious? Yes. The poisonous thorn is lodged very deep in his paw. Is the poison deadly? First, it will slowly paralyze Bagheera. And then? If we don't do anything, Bagheera might... Why don't you just take it out? That would only make the poison spread faster. First, we need... Uh, make a tourniquet. <gasps> Next, the only thing we can do is find frangipani flowers. A compress will stop the poison from spreading, and I can remove the thorn. Where do we find frangipani flowers? In Hajit's territory. Let's hope that Grump will let us pass, but you know how bad-tempered he can be. Uh, Get out of here! This is my territory! Hey! Watch who you're messing with, tough guy! <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm in a good mood. Cause if I wasn't, whack, bam, I'd break in two like that! <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're in trouble, got it? We'll get you out of this, Bagheera. Is it serious? Of course not. It's nothing. You'll see. In no time, you'll be running around like a... a, a panther. I feel bad about leaving Bagheera alone in his state. Don't worry. He can take anyone on, even when he's ill. Somebody talking about me? Ah, Ka! Nice of you to drop in. I didn't drop. I'm a s -s snake. I s -s slither. How about slithering over to Bagheera? Something wrong with Bagheera? Will you sit with him for a while while we go get a remedy? Is it contagious? No, but he's got a poison thorn in his paw. What sort of poison thorn? Could he give it to me? Look, Carl, you're brave, right? You're smart? Yes, those are my two principal qualities. Bagheera can't be left alone. Go on, Carl, please. Mm, sorry, but I've got stuff to do. Shame. I've got a surprise for whoever keeps Bagheera company. Guess it'll be for someone else. A surprise? Oh, and don't think I'm just doing it for the reward. <laughs> you want to steal my fruit as well? Get off my turf! But Hajit, it's me, Mowgli, your friend. I don't do friends. Listen, we've just come for a frangipani flower to save Bagheera, cause... Don't oh! care! No one sends foot on my territory again! Hey! What do you want? To help you, dear friend, repeat this mantra after me. Om. It will nurse you back to health. Chanting Om's gonna get the thorn out of my paw, is it? It's called Yoga Car. One of my healing techniques. Try it. Oh. Louder! Once more with feeling. Om. Om. I'll make it to the flowers over the treetops, and Hajit won't be any the wiser. Well, can I borrow one? It's an emergency. I gotta say... All right, it's been nice talking to you, but I'm gonna go ahead without your permission. <laughs> ah, this exercise is better. It's called the salutation of the sun. Ah, are you sure it's not called strangling the panther? You're not cooperating. Yeah, because it hurts. If it hurts, that means it's working. <sighs> Between the chimps and that badger, this will be awfully complicated. <gasps> That's his tail. I'll grab it and hold him back while you pick the flowers. <gasps> oh, got it. Go, 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 Baloo! <gasps> 
both thought it was Harjeet's tail, maybe Harjeet will think it belongs to one of his kind and follow it. He might even think it belongs to a certain Miss Honey Badger. And if he does, he'll follow it to the end of the world! <laughs> um, listen to your body. I am listening, but my body is not listening to me. Hey, you've got to concentrate to the max. Oh. No, it's um with an M on the end. Uh. <laughs> um, Miss, hello there. The name's Hajit. Oh, you like dancing? <laughs> Miss? Oh, Badgerina, your playful tail makes me hungry for honey! <laughs> Badgerina! I get. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. We saved him. We saved him. What ingratitude. It's only cuts of Yoga Car that you're still around. If it wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> Something got your tongue, eh, Car? <laughs> My darling, stop badgering me! <laughs> Stupid honey badger. Aha. You must be the surprise Baloo promised me for taking such. <laughs> no, don't! This heartless python ate the love of my life! <laughs> no, Haji! Car didn't eat anything at all! It was just a fern, that's all. You're lying to protect him. That isn't going to help you. <laughs> um, it's yoga car. <laughs> Sorry, Harjeet. It was just a fern, see? It's the only way we could get past you. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go find my fiance. Badgerina, Miss Honey Badger, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Here, you know the trick for getting away from a python. 
How about you, Chota? Uh, Chota? Uh, yes, Baloo? Hmm. He didn't hear you because he was trying to find the answer, weren't you, Chota? Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> In that case, I'll show you. I need a liana. You've got to listen a bit. It's important. Baloo's telling us what to do if we're attacked. No, 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 Chota. Meet Tiger. Grr, grr, grr. <laughs> Big Tiger's okay, but for little shrimps, I'm not too sure. Chota, scary. Big Tiger. Mowgli, I need your help. Imagine this is a python rolled around me. What is important <laughs> is to free an arm to tickle the snake between the seventh and eighth <laughs> scales. Uh, oh, for the love of a bear. I bet you can't see much now. Oh, uh, yes, I, I can see perfectly well without them. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Mowgli. This fake python seemed a little too attached to me. <laughs> ah, my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Try these. They might help. Ah. Hey, where's Chota? <gasps> hmm. <laughs> You're scared of Chota. Chota, 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 hello, Chota. Chota! 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 I've just been attacked by an enormous tiger! A tiger? Where, Darcy? Do these belong to your huge tiger? <laughs> it was definitely Chota. Well, he still roared very loudly, and I hadn't done anything to him. Maybe Chota's trying to prove to everyone that he can scare them even though he's little. He's going to get himself in a lot of trouble. We'd better find him quickly. Bagheera and I will go this way. Let's go this way. I'll take care of him. Pajit! Leave Chota alone, or you'll have to deal with me. A 
another of Baloo's good tips. Honey badgers can't stand the smell of this fruit when it's ripe. Haji came from that direction. Chota! Chota! Tiger, spare me. No, Chota, no hurt little ones. Oh, why, thank you, noble feline. It is true, you are very frightening. Oh, tell me, would you be able to frighten a meanie who is bothering me? Oh, but perhaps he wouldn't be afraid of you. Yes, we'll be scared of Chota. It's who? <laughs> He stole some of our feathers. Well, he did save us from Harjeet's attack at the same Vera. I wanted to thank him, but he went off with Tabaki. Shota went with Tabaki? Which way did they go? That way. Come on, Darzi, quickly. Where, Mimi? There. <laughs> Why? Brought me this little runt, Tabaki. Wait till you hear this, Master. It's a scream. He thinks he's the terror of the jungle. I thought you would like to inform him that that spot is already taken. And you won't have to hunt your own lunch. <laughs> he's got guts. It's touching. He reminds me of myself when I was his age. Come on then, little kitten. Show me how you attack. Uh, ah! <laughs> Not bad at all for a little pup like you. There I was thinking I'd get the leftovers. Patience, Tabaki. I like to play with my food before... <laughs> That's enough nostalgia for me. Now I'll show you. How a real tiger attacks. And I'll show you how Baloo taught us to deal with low lives like you. Really? I'm curious. What was that big old oaf of a bear able to teach you? This! Ah, my whiskers! Baloo <gasps> say do that? <laughs> no way! I'll show you what he really said. <laughs> to know how to escape from the claws of danger? Sorry, Baloo. Chota, listen now to Baloo and lessons. It's okay, Chota. But you're going to have to give me a lesson. How to escape a big, angry bear! Soon you will be born. <gasps> <laughs> De 
Daddy will be back soon. He went to find something to make your nest even prettier. You're hiding immediately. Even better, fresh meat. <laughs> I said, I'm sparing you. You can go. I am a heartless tiger. What do you expect me to do with you? Daddy. I am not your daddy. I'm Shere Khan, the tiger. I can't do anything for you. Get on with your life. Like a real tiger. <laughs> That's not bad, Junior. But you need to be more aggressive. You see? Listen. Oh, no! 
if the tiger sees us, we're dead, dead, dead. Shh, go ahead. We will hide and wait. He won't get in your way. I'll calm him down. And keep him quiet. Oh. <laughs> the egg hatched. That's how you keep your fur clean. Beauty impresses your prey. And now I'm going to show you how we hunt. So strong, Daddy! Monster! Monster! Oh, you foolish jackal! You just ruined Junior's lesson! But, Master... Silence! I don't want to hear another word from you. Come along, Junior. It doesn't matter. We'll find another prey. Junior? Uh, Master, Mowgli is in your den, and me, I'm still hungry. Mowgli? Who is that? <laughs> Someone you avoid. Oh. How can we break the news to Rangu and Nalgu? Oh, Shere Khan doesn't want me around anymore. He doesn't even want you, Mowgli. Do you realize what that means? We're lost. How could you eat a baby? Hey, don't get angry. I didn't do anything. It's Shere Khan. Oh, no. Shere Khan ate Gugu, the baby bird, inside the egg? Uh, it's worse. He thinks he's his father, and he has decided to teach him all the tricks of the trade. Make a tiger out of him. Come see for yourselves if you don't believe me. <laughs> you learn very quickly, Junior. Well done. Now, it's time for a little nap. Not tired. <laughs> but our energy increases when we sleep. Naps make us even more fearsome warriors. Daddy, my own daddy. <laughs> I told you so. That little thing took my place. Do you think that Mowgli and Lolly have found Gugu, uh, our baby? My sweet baby. Little darling baby sweet. Soon you will be born. <laughs> My junior. He's not your junior. Ow! Good junior. Keep going. Uh, but you're not a tiger. You're a bird. Good. Now I think it's time for your next lesson, junior. How to eat a man cub. Little darling, baby sweet, you'll grow up very soon. Little darling, baby sweet. Soon you will be born. <laughs> My baby! My Goo Goo! I don't see how he could hesitate. Silence! I am Shere Khan, the ferocious tiger without a heart. Now that you've found your bird parents, live your own life. Thank you, my friends. Our family is reunited thanks to you. Good little Goo Goo. Sings like a tiger. Barely <laughs> <laughs> have to go now. It's going to be very hot, 
My old bones never make a mistake. Oh. Boy, you're ready for the elephant cemetery. I'm an old wreck. <laughs> But not as bad as that rascal of a brother of mine. Posh, he must be at least 200 years old. <gasps> but he's still in good shape. I know I should have gone earlier, but when your memory starts failing, well, it won't be long before I leave. I haven't told the children. They won't even realize I've gone. <gasps> Hello, Gazzini. You're up and about early this morning. I was looking for you. Hattie went this morning. He's gone to see his brother. He's forgotten his birthday again. Better late than never, eh? And it just came at the right time. I wanted to use the opportunity to give him a surprise. Let me guess. You're going to celebrate your arrival at Sioni, is that it? Hattie has probably forgotten, but on that day he gave me a lotus flower. So, it'll be a real surprise for everyone. I wanted to do it here in the classroom. What do you think? Excellent idea. Consider this your home, too. Oh. Who knows about it? Only Apu and Hita. I love surprises. As for Bagheera and Mowgli, I'll make sure they're not here. Uh... Uh-oh, be careful. There's no worse chatterbox than Darcy. Shh. <coughs> <coughs> My poor Baloo. You should do something about it. Oh, you're right. I'm really not well. I'll send Bagheera and Mowgli to get me some time. <coughs> do you think she heard? All the jungle will know about my terrible illness by now. <laughs> no, but that's too easy. I can find everything. All right, Mr. Clever Panther. We'll see just how good you are. There. Who do you see here? Oh, easy. He just stole Marsha's bananas and is hiding in the classroom. Impressive. <laughs> <gasps> Blue, are you all right? Not too good. <coughs> I've got a really heavy cold. Do you think you could go and get me some time? The gourd's full of it. I checked yesterday. Yes, well, you need glasses, Mowgli. It's completely empty. Stop it. This really isn't the moment. <coughs> oh, but you really must go and get me some time. I'm sorry. I know it's a long way, but it might be contagious. Eh, uh, what? I'm scared stiff of illness. You ought to go with them to Baki. A time cure wouldn't do you any harm. <coughs> uh. Go easy on the time. You'll make yourself ill. It's didn't you know? Well, Hattie, uh, Blue, I'm not a witch. He's got a nasty cold for a hundred years at least. But it's too old. I'd never have believed it. He seemed fine and then, bang, he doesn't have much longer. It's me who's telling you. Blue just needs honey, time and rest, that's all. If I were you, I'd be worried. An illness that comes just like that with no warning. <sighs> we'll all get it. I'm telling you, and not just the old ones, either! That's enough now. Go and cheer up somewhere else. You're scaring everyone to death. Ah, OK. There's something really serious happening and no one cares. If that's the way it is, I'm going. Yeah, that's it, and good riddance. Oh! Ah! Don't come any nearer. And what's that colour? There's some kind of bug in the jungle. Baloo is ill. Hearty too. I saw him leave on his last legs toward the elephant cemetery. Poor Gachini was in tears. Now what's all this about? Explain yourself. For a start, it's all true. It's the time that Bagheera and Mowgli went to get to cure everybody. I think it's an epidemic. And how do I know if all this is true? If you don't believe me, go and check. That's just what I'll do. And if those old crocs are really in a bad way, 
It'll be child's play to get rid of them for good. Shekhan's gone to find Hati! It's too horrible! It's all my fault! I told Shekhan everything and he ran off as fast as he could! In which direction? If we know where Hati is, we can maybe arrive before Shere Khan. This morning, Hati took the track to the Blue Mountain. I saw him. When Gajini told Baloo he said it was very serious, he hugged Gajini. It was so sad. Can you believe it? Hati in the Elephant Cemetery? But there's something not right. It's not the right direction. The Blue Mountain is where Hati's brother Pasha lives. He must have gone to visit him. The shortcut through the thorns. Shere Khan can't take it. He's too fat. We can maybe get to Hati before him. No, wait! You've got to stay here. Imagine that Shere Khan changes his plans and comes to attack Baloo instead of Hati. If Baloo really is ill, I couldn't do anything to stop him. I don't know what's going on anymore. What am I going to tell everyone? Nothing. You're coming with me. I don't want you telling things to the entire jungle, and I may have a mission for you. Hiya! Look, it's all askew. So how about the code? Did they believe it? They swallowed the whole story. thing is Shere Khan. Are you sure that he's coming here? I saw him leave with my own eyes. He wants to check that Hati is really dead. I think I know how to convince Shere Khan it's true. <gasps> Pretty good, right? But if your plan works, Shere Khan will rush to the friendly area. Yes, that's my plan exactly. Take that to Baggy. He's the only one who can understand it. Quick! Oops! Look out! Chatterbox! <laughs> Don't worry, Hati isn't dead. Mowgli too. Uh, neither. I'm looking for Bagheera. What are you talking about? Are they in danger? Where? Aren't you ill anymore? He was pretending. But why did you do that? Uh, Bagheera! I'll explain everything later. But first, we've got to hide. Uh, uh, Shere Khan, please help me. Uh, I don't want to die all alone like Hati. Take me back to Baloo. You must be joking. So I will be contaminated too. As for the sick old bear, I'll make him into mincemeat. The chatterbox was right. All my enemies finished. Wiped off the face of the jungle. The kingdom is all mine. Baloo, is there anybody here? Where are them? So I can tell them the good news. Acclaim your new and only lord. Is this your kingdom? It's full of sickness. Everyone is dead. <gasps> Scoundrels! <gasps> it's Hottie's ghost! Who are you to so trouble the kingdom of the dead? Oh! <gasps> all right, everyone. All clear. The tiger's gone. You can come out now. I'm sorry about all these secrets. We just wanted to give Hati a surprise. I never imagined that it would put you in danger. Without you, I'd never have been able to warn everyone of the danger. But just a minute. Without you, all those rumors would never have existed. <laughs> I lied as well. In fact, I didn't go to see Pasha. Oh, you didn't forget. Well done, Mowgli! 
We like playing with you, don't we, Bagheera? Yes, and we certainly need two throwers. Only the really good ones like you can manage to send it so high. Stop sulking. He's a monkey. He always talks nonsense. I'm not sulking. I'm fat and too heavy. No, you're not. You're like me. We're big and strong because we're elephants. No, we're grey and heavy and we can't fly. I'm sick to the top of my trunk of looking at the ground. I want to see the sky. That's what I want, to be light and fly like, like, like him. Dream on. You'll never fly. Come and play instead of grumbling. I'll never see what goes on up there. The clouds. Your turn, Bagheera. Two, three, zero! Well done, Baggy! A banana! A banana! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> Where are you going? To play? Can I come? You want to fly? Do you want me to help you? Look, it's easy! With big ears like these, you can maybe fly! Try moving them! Go on! It might work! Oh, just leave me alone! <laughs> Go and fly somewhere else! Where did she go? I don't know. That way? Or oh, that way? I don't know anymore. I was watching you! And our parents told us not to separate. Heat and I have got to stay together. I should have paid more attention. Well done. You've hurt her with your silly teasing and now we can't play anymore. I was kidding. I really like Heater, even if she is a bit well padded. Come on, Apu. Don't worry. We'll find her. Come on. We'll go and look over there. And we'll search on the other side. Hey, watch where you're putting your feet, you big clumsy thing. Hey, Chubby. That's my child you almost stepped on. I didn't even see him. Forget it, Apu. You should keep a closer watch on your kids, Jakala. This is my territory. And if I catch you around here again, I'll put elephant on the menu. You'll see if I don't. You crocs are as welcoming as ever. Come on, Apu. Let's go and find Hita. Baloo? Bagheera? No, Hita. Have you seen her? I have. She was sulking by the swamp. I'll go get her for you. Hita, stop hiding. Hita. Guzzle guts. <gasps> Guzzle guts. <gasps> Oh, I know you. You nearly squashed Guzzleguts, my little nipper, with your dirty, big, clumsy elephant feet. Where is he? Where's my kiddies? I... I didn't squash anyone. I warned you. Go on, kids. Tuck in. No, it's too fatty. Too tough, too. Yuck. You'll eat what you're given. Elephant thighs are full of vitamins. Have you seen her big ears and that color? And her... her nose? 
<laughs> Ridiculous. She looks like a giant rat with its tail on the wrong end. <laughs> I don't eat rat. I didn't squash anyone. <laughs> sure, tell me I dreamed it. I know an elephant when I see one. You were with Bagheera and you tried to squash Guzzle Guts. Apu, Apu, Apu. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and get help. Hita? 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 Oh. Ah! Bagheera, are you okay? I've been better. Hey, what's he doing here? I followed you. I want to be strong like that guy. Will you teach me? I don't think that's going to be possible. Can you climb up, Bagheera? No, uh, I've twisted my paw. <laughs> Don't even think about taking a bite. Climb on, Bagheera. I'm really heavy. You'll never be able to carry me. Try me. Uh, Apu, uh, Hita! Did you find Hita? Why didn't you bring her along? R Bridge, broken, and Jakala! Jakala? There's no time to lose. Stop whining, Butterball, and tell me where my little nipper is. I don't know. Look at that trunk over there. If we rolled it onto the rocks, it would make a bridge for Hita. <sighs> Only that horrible croc would look away. I'll deal with him. And me with the kids. Over here! No, here! Oops! Let me! Get it, kids. Awesome! I want the tail. I want the ears. Forget that flabby elephant. Give me back my little nipper guzzle guts and I'll let this runt go. Mowgli, get off that trunk, quick. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Well done, Hita. <sighs> oh. It might be a sprain. Apu, can you carry him back to Baloo? Of course he can. He's really strong. He's going to teach me to be strong, just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he is. But look, your family's waiting for you. Nothing looks more like an elephant than another elephant. I'm seeing double. <gasps> Where were you? With the elephant, the big one over there. I even asked him to teach me to be strong like him. Oh. That was awesome! No one else could have tipped that enormous trunk like that. Thanks. Wow. You're really strong, Hita. You know, sometimes I talk nonsense, but I'm only joking. I think you're great, and I'd like to be like you. with the four. 
more of us. I don't play with man cubs. Oh, Mowgli's our brother. He's no brother of mine. <laughs> Everyone loves Mowgli except you and Shere Khan. Help! Tabaki, and I'll set you free. Stop wriggling about and you'll be okay. Ah, there. Oh, thank you, my friend Mowgli. You're so kind. Too kind, I think. That rotten jackal. A friend? A friend of Shere Khan's? Well, he'd like to be anyway. What's for sure is that he's Shere Khan's spy. Well, he's not that bad. He's just uh, a jackal <laughs> who acts like a jackal. <laughs> and you're an idiot who acts like an idiot. Tabaki, oh. my friend. Uh, hello, Shere Khan. I've just had a magnificent idea to finally deal with that oh-so-kind little bit of a man. And you uh. have a role to play in that plan. Uh. <laughs> there, I found it. Here it is. Taste it, Mira. Give it to Tricky instead so we can see what it does. Hey, do you want some really nice uh -huh. honey? Mm. Hum. Tip top top, tippy top. <laughs> hey, shrimps, look at this. I know some people who are going to go green with jealousy. Those claws mm. of peacocks can go and bite their tail feathers. I'm the most beautiful of all. Sure, Marsha. Pavo and Fool are hideous compared to you. And awkward lumps, too. As stupid as peacock. Wow, Marsha. You look really cool like that. That's a lie. You're as ugly as a toad. A toad with flowers. The jungle's flowery toad. Toad dooby doo. Boo! <laughs> hey, what's he eating? It's the forbidden honey. That's what we give our enemies to send them crazy. Come on, Marsha. We only gave him a teeny <laughs> weeny bit. We wanted to see what it would do to him. It's really funny. Be careful. He'll bite you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hello, oh. Marsha. That's a pretty flower. What do you want? You'd be even prettier with a few peacock feathers. Poof! I've already tried to pluck those show-offs. They're too fond of spreading their tails for that stuck-up mina to allow anyone to touch their feathers. Except that I know how to deal with those two numbskulls. I've already stolen two or three. And you'd give me some? You give me some of that honey that sends you crazy and I'll give you the feathers. How does that sound? Some pretty peacock feathers to put in your hair? Hmm. Why not? But if you don't keep your promise, you'd better watch out! Here, Mowgli. This is for you. Lolly's right. You are one of us. Come on, let's forget all about it. Friends? This honey is pure nectar. Taste it. And it looks really good. Well, thanks then. I'll see you at the river later on with Bala and Lolly. All right. Mm. I'll be there. Enjoy. Ah! 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 Hop, hop. Ah. I am Mowgli, top of the top. Hey! Tip-top of the jungle, top so top. What's the matter with you? Top. Come on, butterball, let's do some sport. You look like a, a bear elephant, a bear elephant with long fur. Look, are you all right? What do you think you're doing? Who's Mowgli's favorite cat with big whiskers? Are you sticking up for the grumpy grouch? Grumpy grouch? Are you ill? Have you got a fever? No, my big old granddad. I just want to have a bit of a laugh. This whiskery cat has rescued you from Shere Khan's claws quite a few times already. Shere Khan! Let that stripey rug come. I'm waiting for him. I'll make him into steaks and chops. I'm the king of the jungle from now on. 
Fowler can give me as much honey as he wants, Tippity Top. I'll never, never, never be his friend. You're just ridiculous, Mowgli. Not funny at all. Come on, Bagheera. I'll see you when you've calmed down. I don't need anybody! He's not himself, Baloo. What's all that about Fauna and the honey? I've no idea. There, you see? You're starting to behave like a real wolf. I'm more than a real wolf. I'm the king of the wolves and the whole jungle, too. I'm not a ridiculous, seedy-looking wolf like you and your pack of flea-bitten furballs. He called Baloo a grumpy grouch? Yes, and us ridiculous, flea-bitten furballs. I know, Mowgli. He would never say something like that. He's not acting normally. We've seen Mowgli, and he wasn't very nice. He told me that I wasn't his brother, and that I clung to him as if I'd used hibiscus glue. And that he was king of the jungle. We'll have to take severe measures. It's time to send him back among his own. But... I'm sorry, Raksha, but Fauna's right. We have to get to the bottom of this, but I think that, unfortunately, we must seriously consider this option. Go on, you fool. Call him and make it loud. Uh, Mowgli? Louder! Help! Mowgli! Help! Mowgli! Yoo-hoo! Yes? Mowgli! Hop, hop! Hello, my big teddy bear. Still hey. sleeping? Hop, how about a little dance, big kitten? Tippy top, hop! What are you doing, you little monkey? Oh. <laughs> oh. What's the matter with them all today? Hey, let go of me, Baloo. We're just having a laugh. We gave him some really funny honey that makes you say silly things and act a bit strange. Oh. Rhododendron honey! It sends you crazy. Fauna. Do you remember Bagheera, the honey? That's what happened to Mowgli. Fauna made him eat some of that honey. Follow me, Bagheera. Mowgli! Tippity Top Jackal, is it you barking like that? I fell into a trap. Help me to get out. If not, I'm going to be eaten, swallowed, and digested whole. The tongue and the legs cut the slices. Get me out of here, my friend. Oh. Ah. My uh. friend? <laughs> I'm not friends with jackals. I'm the king of the jungle, the tiger. That stripy rug is out. Keep talking, man cub. Now, come on, down to the ground, quickly. Are you sure that plant will do the trick? Don't worry. I've already used it on an old elephant who had eaten some of that honey and thought he was a bee. And? He crushed all the flowers when he tried to gather nectar. Tippity top, I give the orders now. Tippity top, tip, tip, top. But it shouldn't be happening like this. He should save to. <laughs> <laughs> when the effect of the honey wears off. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Baloo told me that it was you, Fauna, who gave that honey to Mowgli. Rubbish! It was Marsha who gave him the honey. That's not true. It was you, Fauna. You told me it was really good and that we were friends now. After that, I can't remember. I hope that you're not too angry with me. So it was you, Fauna. You lied to us. It was Marsha who... Oh, traitor! You're trying to make me out a poisoner Well, you're not getting away with it. Take that! And uh, this! Uh, stop it, Marsha! And what about my feathers? Uh, I'm still waiting uh, for them. Uh, uh, and that, no doubt, is the most unexpected and effective punishment. <laughs> <laughs> 